Hello everyone. I hope everyone's having a great week and will have a great weekend. I bring to you a special video. This is Super Saiyan Son Goku Exclusive Edition. This came out in 2022 of spring. I can't remember to be honest. But I got this a long time ago and I kind of just put it away in my in my uh, in my stash that I have in my closet. And I completely forgot about it, honestly. I was going through some of my stuff that I had. I'm like, I couldn't remember I had this, or I didn't remember I had this. So, I did open them up though. So it was really kind of a forgot kind of thing. But, this one is pretty special. Honestly, in my opinion, I think it's one of the more cooler exclusives that they've come out with. And just like the Majin Vegeta, it comes with a lot of stuff, actually. So, We'll get this out of the way, take this box, take the box inside out of this shipper box. So we get straight into the video. Alrighty. So here it is. Now this one looks cool. Um, this is their 15th anniversary edition one. And now this is very different compared to the other ones that they have made out or made out, made when it comes to exclusives. Uh, when it comes to, you know, the San Diego or New York Comic Cons or even the uh, convention that they have in New York. And, um, Tokyo is what I meant to say. The box art is very different. Now, this is just, I'm talking about the slipcover. I've never really seen any other ones that have a slipcover. Taking this off, though, reveals the exact same thing. Da -da -da -da. So they're just keeping up with the tradition. But this yellow, though, looks super nice. It's, it's in person it really pops so there's the back the side now when this figure came out a lot of people were in uproar uproar with it and that solely had to do with the hair now the hair ticked everyone off only because it just didn't it wasn't consistent I believe this was the second or third one that uh dragon ball character that had translucent hair and not a lot of people liked it so i hope that whenever you know we open this looks great but in my opinion i it looks cool i just wish they put it on all figures that's super saiyan related just to make it make sense but i understand because it's an exclusive edition you know you want to make it even more special or you know more different it makes sense to add different different parts so yeah we'll take this out of the box and then see what we got inside i thought i opened this already but i guess i didn't so that's getting a first experience here so we got goku obviously on the left and in the very back we see some aura effect now this is the part where goku just turned into a super saiyan which I think to me is a little bit special because it's my first, Dragon Ball is my first anime I've ever watched. So I deeply connect to the this version of, of Goku. I know they also came out with where he's finally, for like the final battle of Frieza, where he's a lot more bigger. But to me, honestly, this one's just, it holds, it holds a special place in my heart. So we have Goku, we have swappable face where he's kind of screaming. We have his angry open mouth showing his teeth face. And we have one, two, three, four, five pairs of hands. So we have his fist hands here on the left. Then up here we have his ready stance or stance ready fighting hands. And then here we have his, what is this? I, I'm assuming is also considered a fighting stance hand. Interesting, I've never seen any of these hands. I've, I've never sent stand seeing that particular hand on any figure because even the left one is very different now it could be the mold so or like when it was when it was curing so that could be could be it and we see his uh gripping i guess those are his gripping hands oh my gosh and then he have his kamehameha um hands and then his key blast hands yeah it's pretty neat so we'll take the figure out figure out set up the aura and then see what we've got inside 
All right, so we have the figure here. Now, the camera is picking on some crazy gold on his hair. And I think that looks great. In person, though, it does look a little bit different. I mean, it's still, honestly, I think it's the most gold looking ever, or gold looking ever, most gold looking hair piece on a Super Saiyan figure. I reviewed the Muslim, uh, Majin Vegeta and that gold, I, I don't think compares to this one. Um, in terms of paint, he doesn't have a lot of paint on his, you know, on his torso, but he does have some paint highlights on his, you know, pieces of clothes that are torn. So I think that's really nice and neat. He does have some, some, some like matte finish on his lower part of his, of his uh, torso there, his core area. Oh. So, yeah, I, in terms of paint, not a lot to talk about, but I think that makes up for the overall design of Goku. Now, if I remember correctly, I think this is the manga version. Um, one way to tell is the, or are the, the color of the boots. Usually they're supposed to be red. In the anime, they're red, but in the manga, I believe they are yellow. I could be mixing them up, but that's what I remember. Um, yeah, so we'll get to articulation and see what we got. Alrighty, so articulation. Obviously, head ball joint. His neck, I believe, sits on a hinge. Nope, ball joint. And mine in particular is, you know, not loose, loose, but it's, it has some give. Um, his head, though, is pretty heavy. So you got to be kind of careful on how you balance him because this part right here will for sure bring him down as if someone's pulling on his hair. Is he does have a variation of, not even a variation. It's, there's supposed to be butterfly joints, but you honestly, want to see the movement? That's it. Um, that's the only movement that he has. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all the movement he has. He does have bicep swivel. He does have so he does have a double half jointed elbows, and he has a ball joint hinge wrist. Going to his torso, he has a ball joint on his upper torso. He does have ab crunch, which is pretty neat. It goes that far down and then that far up. And that's only because this back here, I mean, here, like extra clothing does block some of the accessibility of his torso. So that's kind of, you know, one thing to look out for. He does have a waist swivel or let's see a ball joint. This piece here is loose. He can go this far forward and this far back. He's frolicking, uh, frolicking on the, uh, on Frieza. He, uh, that much, he can go that far side to side. Now, I think the interesting thing here is his thigh swivel. You'd expect it to be up here it's in the clothing and that's I think super neat now it could be maybe you know when it comes to this kind of Goku they have that on all of them but I don't know just something about this looks me it being my f first Goku or Super Saiyan Goku where he has his clothing torn I think it's super neat he has ball jointed uh, ankles on both sides and then he has hinges on his toes so he can be on his tippy toes we'll put on some different ex uh, accessories on him and kind of bling him out so we'll be right back here's him getting ready to power up his Kamehameha standing these figures are pretty tricky because you gotta balance them a certain way and then you know make sure they don't fall but I think 
boom there we go I'm looking straight at the camera I love it so one thing that I am noticing with this figure is those ball there's a uh, butterfly joints are not doing it he needs proper butterfly joints I don't know what they were doing with this uh, Goku and even with the Ultra Instinct Goku he didn't have a lot of motion with his butterfly joints but it was enough to go by but this one just does not have that kind of mobility and something about his, his, his face his facial expressions are pretty different but I mean I really wish they added also key blasts I know figure arts the Tomashi Nations I know they sell their own versions of their key blasts you know on their website but I, I really think this one needed it especially when on their po their main photo that is being used is him doing the Kamehameha but doesn't come with any key blasts or any you know key effects come on they knew what they would do so this yeah this is Goku in that position I'm gonna try to get him in other in other positions but those butterfly joints are kind of kind of weird so I'll be right back Here's him in a uh, kind of just reaching his arm out and about to key blast someone else. His uh, it could be mine, but mine are pretty stiff when it comes to popping in the the different hands. So if you ever do think about this, well, actually it's not just this figure alone. Most toys have that kind of problem, or you know sometimes the hands don't fit, so you just kind of you know have to mess with them to put them back in or you know take them back out. But in in, in this particular case my figure has difficulty having uh, their hands putting or uh, Goku's hands putting in, putting in but yeah I mean you can do this pose so I'm just trying to show quick poses here and there and here we go lastly his his fighting stance boom there we go so in conclusion I think this is a this figure is decent, although I hold it to a little bit of a higher regard only because this is the... I know Figure Arts has come out with this figure before in this exact same moment of time in Dragon Ball Z with Goku. So just, I mean, I think it's to me it's a little bit more special with the hair, the, um, the translucent hair. But if this is any telltale than the... or compared to the other figure, I mean... If you can get it cheaper, um, if you can get the first one that is that was made cheaper than this one, I think it's for sure go ahead. But because of the exclusivity of this figure, I think it's a little bit more special. Plus, I think when it comes to the hair, this one is way better than the other hairs that Tomashi Nations has come out with for any Super Saiyan. So, yeah, I would rate this figure. 8.5 those butterfly joints are killing me I, I i wish they had he had proper butterfly joints um but overall yeah i like it it's gonna be a part of my collection but yeah what are your thoughts i want to hear if anyone has this figure in their collection see what they think i'm not gonna be having them in this pose obviously leave a comment see what you think i want to hear your thoughts or everyone else's thoughts if you have this part of your collection let me know what you think of it i you know playing with it a little bit more i'm kind of getting growing on to it but i feel like that's gonna hit a peak at some point so yeah leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you next in the next video